Hi Pisces, this is a general love reading for mid-May 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. And because it is general, it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs if you want. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. If you'd like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. So let's see, what is going on with Pisces? For the second half of May, what are the overall energies? Okay, so we have three here. We have, ooh, okay, we have Surrender, we have Bound, and we have Cycles. Okay, so it feels like there may have been a pattern that you or someone else has been going through over and over and over again, like going um, in, in circles, just going through cycles of something that might be very either toxic unhealthy, um, maybe even a little bit obsessive, I feel like whoever that is, is now beginning to surrender um, to that in the good way. All right, like, yeah, you know, this is, this is a problem. Whatever this is, it's like I keep going in and out of the same type of, of cycle here. So it could be you, it could be your person. Um, whatever the case, I do feel like that is actually very positive that we have the surrender the surrender card, like just not going against anymore their own intuition or what they what they feel needs to happen here. So let's see. All right, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so for you, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so this is actually looking pretty good. I feel like you are pretty much grounding yourself and that you are coming to this place of feeling like you have your life under control. It might feel like it's a slow process, like you're gradually getting there, but I see this progression from the Knight to the King when it comes to being stable and when it comes to really having a hold on your environment on and on what is going on in your life so i feel like you're moving in that direction and you know this may have been a struggle but i feel like you're moving very very steadily towards really um pretty much either you know having everything or a lot of things that you would want to have like accomplishing certain goals when it comes to your material world when it comes to your health anything so for them, we have the Hierophant, the Seven of Cups, and the Page of Swords. All right. So I feel like this person, this person here might be a little bit confused, maybe possibly concerning certain options that is in their life. Um, I do feel like they're, they have this need to communicate. They want to talk about something almost as if they're not really sure or a little confused when it comes to a particular commitment, okay, which could be you or it could be another commitment. We'll see when, when we clarify. So I don't really know who it is um, that has been going through the same cycle over and over and over, and it really doesn't matter. It's either you or the other person you would know, or maybe it's the two of you together going back and forth um, through cycles within this connection. Let's see what we have coming up. We have the Magician, we have the Devil, and the Page of Cups, and the message for you here is the Ten of Cups. Okay, so, well, there's that Devil, which is like the Bound card. Um, so I do see it being a potential still to go through a certain cycle that you may have gone through or that this person may have gone through repeatedly. I feel like that could still be in the air coming up in the near future. Um, but at the same time, having the Page of Cups right after that, I do feel like this is something, like I said, I feel like this person has a need to talk and that this conversation might actually take place where a lot of emotions might come to the surface, which might actually help to break that pattern. Okay, whatever that is. Because as the message here, we do have the Ten of Cups, which talks about, you know, a lot of love. This is fulfillment when it comes to love and, you know, pretty much it's like the happy ever after type of type of an energy. 
Um, which of course, you know, no relationship is perfect. I just feel like this is um, something that is definitely in the potential for at least you watching this video. Okay, whether it be with this person or, or somebody else, but most of the time these messages that come through will be um, concerning the person who is also in the reading. Not always though. So let's clarify, let's see. Let me clarify that Knight of Pentacles. Alright, the Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and Temperance. Okay, so it kind of actually feels like you've been trying to um, process some kind of an ending here that has been very, very painful for you. Um, it's almost like this, I feel like that is what this progression is, where you are, you know, trying to feel good. It's about ending something that has not been easy and it's like requiring a lot of emotional stability um, from your end. It's, it's probably something that required a lot of patience with your own self in order to get to this point where you feel like you are actually, you know, taking little steps, doing little things in order to actually um, either heal from an ending and it doesn't necessarily have to be like this huge ending. It could be, you know, feeling betrayed, for example, something that was just very, very painful to the point where it feels like there is some kind of an ending. I feel like that is what you are, um, what you are and have been working on. And I do see you actually um, healing, healing from that, moving in the right direction. Let me see the Six of Wands. Look at all these knights. All right. So we have the Five of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so yeah, you know, you're... I feel like you, there's a lot of movement here. All right, sometimes you might feel like you're moving a little bit more slowly, and that's why maybe you feel like you're going back to repeating a cycle of maybe feeling attached to a particular situation. Um, and then it feels like you move very, very quickly away from it. Now, what I also get from this is that, and I, I'm pretty sure that this, this type of an energy seemed to come up for like at least one other sign, um, where it feels like you, you sometimes might rush um, this process and because you rush that process, you know, there might be that little part of you that's actually a little bit um, deceitful to your own self and it's not something really, really bad. It's not something um, crazy, but it's just that it might be a little bit deceiving to your own self to bypass um, certain emotions maybe or certain processes that you might that you might need to go through okay and that's why that could be why we have the six of wands which is like you know feeling really really good but also like it can be a little bit of ego so it could be a way of protecting your ego um where you're trying to rush through something that actually you know needs some to be a little bit more thought out being a little bit more cautious of what you the conclusions you draw about yourself and and where you are where you are and again i feel like you're doing a very very good job all right having temperance here and the king of pentacles i feel like this is just like a little reminder to just be careful that you're not um getting to this point where you feel like yeah you know i'm like so healed you know but then there's still something there that might be kind of like irking you and like trying to bubble up to the surface so just, that's just something to keep in mind. Let me see the King of Pentacles. Well, there's that Ten of Cups again. So we have the Hanged Man, the Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. So yeah, you know, the, here's the thing. In order to reach this energy of the King of Pentacles, um, 
it does take a little bit of time and it does take a little bit of reflection, okay, like the hanged man does. Um, possibly seeing things from, from another perspective. That's just something that can really help you to release, you know, whatever residue is left within you that needs to be healed in order for you to feel this, to feel this fulfillment, to have this, to have this love in your life, okay? Whether it be with this person or just in general or with somebody else. I do also get the sense that I feel like there is somebody here um, that may want a, a strong commitment with you. Um, but I'm mostly seeing this as being just your your energy but again it feels like there is someone here where commitment may have been a little bit of of an issue and again it's just taking a little bit of time for for there to be this this healing and releasing something so let's move on to what is going on with this person let's see the higher fence All right, we have the Two of Swords and we have Justice. Okay, so it could definitely be that this person is in the process of trying to make a decision. And I, like I said, you know, I do see them being confused um, about a particular commitment, about a particular um, relationship here. It could even be a marriage um, with somebody else, but it, it could definitely also be with you. What I do see here, though, is a little bit of either denial or just kind of avoiding avoiding making a decision they want to they want to but there's still some I still see some confusion here um, but again I feel like something here is going to shift a little bit after this um, communication takes place let's see seven of cups because I also see them being very still curious still interested in this, in this connection. All right, the three of swords and the world. So it's not, like I said, they're still interested and then we get the, the three of swords. So it's not that they are indifferent, all right? They are, they are feeling some pain here. They're feeling some pain and I feel like this may have been a relationship where it feels like, you know, things are kind of done. From their end, it may feel like to them that, that you are done with them, that you are moving on, right? Because, I mean, that was apparent in your energy here. Um, again, don't forget the roles can definitely be reversed, all right? But at the same time, I also feel like they might be having a hard time closing out a certain cycle um, because for whatever reason, this also causes them pain. I feel like this person has pain for two different things. Um, and again, there might be a little bit of some illusions also from their end when it comes to how can they close out a cycle like again it's that this repeating of cycles which I'm not saying that you're not also doing that maybe you are maybe you aren't but I definitely feel that that this person here may have been repeating some cycles that are a little bit um negative let's see the page of swords because that's actually giving some hope here for this person <clears throat> All right, we have the Eight of Swords. Let me get one more. All right, and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so it feels like this person is actually trying to really investigate um, what it is that is keeping them stuck in this kind of toxic thinking or toxic pattern what is it that just keeps them falling back to this so the more we get into this reading the more i feel like it is this person who is engaging in some toxic um pattern over and over again going through cycles like possibly exiting and then coming back um to whatever it is that is um painful they are trying to make a decision they are trying to make a decision it just feels like with the two of swords and the seven of cups like there's a lot of confusion again, as to how to close something out in order to have made that decision. And at the moment, they're investigating 
their own self? What is it that is keeping them trapped? Why do they keep why do they keep going back to the same thing? Why are they like, you know, such a victim, basically? Like how do they fall victim to their own self? This is what they are investigating. At the same time, I do feel like they're also um, still interested in the connection with you. This is why. Um, this is also so so painful for them, otherwise it wouldn't be. And I do feel like they want to talk about it. They want to talk about it with you. So let's actually see what is coming up. Let me see the magician. Three of Wands and the Seven of Swords. I mean, again, like whatever this is, it's it's their own it's their own doing here. This is something that is being manifested. I feel like it's like they're just kind of because again, I feel like it's it's this it's this person here. Um, it's kind of like they're just kind of waiting, waiting to see like if something will just kind of resolve on its own. And so it's almost as if they're turning their back to the situation, but still thinking about it, still kind of waiting. And I feel like that is what manifests this devil's energy here, this bound, this, you know, going back to, to a cycle. So I do feel like, you know, for the next couple of weeks, that might still be playing out a little bit. But like I said, I feel like there's a conversation coming up. Let me just see the devil. And yeah, that last card, that 10 of cups, I will clarify that as well. Um, let's see. Three of Cups and the Ten of, sorry, the Eight of Wands. Yeah, so this is definitely communication. This is a definitely, um, you know, coming together, like a reconciliation. So I do feel like there, if you are not in contact, I do feel like there's this chance for you to meet up with this person or at least have some kind of, some kind of a communication here, some kind of a conversation. Okay, now again, I still feel like they're in this energy of not having resolved everything 100% but it feels like they're willing to talk. So let's see the, the Page of Cups. Ooh, the Two of Cups, Judgment, and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, okay, so finally we're getting some positive cards here and I love the fact that it happens to be um, in the end here. So yeah, it is a little twist of events here. There's this communication, and if it's not communication, it's this person or you just, or in this connection, an opening up to the possibility of love or at least allowing these emotions to be brought to the surface, to feel them, to understand them, to, you know, investigate them a little bit more and just really being okay with, you know, how it is that the both of you feel about each other. And I do, I do see love here, all right, with the Two of Cups. I do see love. Um, I also see, you know, kind of like this, um, this sense of a rebirth or a sense of understanding. It's like very, very deep understanding, like having some revelations about the situation, okay, and about the need for independence, a need for being able to stand on your own two feet without having these toxic cycles repeating themselves over and over and over again and standing strong in their power. So I really feel like this whole bottom row for the new future is more in terms of your person. Now what you decide to do, you know, that's that's a different story and that's up to you. Um, so let me actually clarify that 10 of cups here. Because I really just feel like this is just showing that there is that potential. And because you had the 10 of cups up here, I see it as encouragement for you to continue on, you know, on your path to finding that happiness, finding that love within yourself by releasing whatever needs to be released because that is what is ultimately going to be 
of benefit for you. So let's see. And of course, in turn, it can also help this connection if this is something that, that you want. Okay, so we have the Page of Cups again, the Two of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. So yeah, so there's that Page of Cups showing up again. I do feel like, you know, during the, this conversation can actually lead to this feeling of you know, maybe we can make this work. I do feel that there's going to be a lot of, um, all of, a lot of fears that might be communicated, you know, some stress, some anxiety might come through in this conversation, as well as the fact that, you know, there might still be some things that need to be sorted out here with that two of pentacles. I, so all in all, I feel like it's going to be a very um, deep and honest conversation if you do um, communicate with this person. And again, I gave the alternative, if, it, if for whatever reason you do not communicate with this person, this is just the energy, okay? Um, so yeah, you're being guided to move towards your happiness and to really allow yourself to feel your emotions, even the stressful ones, so that you can find that, that balance, so that they can be balanced from within. So Pisces, if this resonated, let's get your final oracle message. All right, and we have a celebration, which is actually like that three of cups. Um, a positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success, enjoy your achievements. Yeah, because you're moving forward. You're moving forward. So find happiness at the moment, for now at least, with that, with your own self or how far you have come. So, all right, Pisces, those were your messages and much love.